first thing I would do if I was president? Well, I'm happy to announce that this is my uh, official announcement for, no, I'm just kidding. I'm not running for president. Hey, I'm Joe, and these are my first for NME. Uh, I actually still have this shirt. My cousin Thomas got me a Marshall, I guess it's not a, a band t-shirt, but it was a Marshall Amp t-shirt. And it was for, I think I was 10, and it was for our entire family Secret Santa. That was, you know, it's my dad and his four siblings and all their kids, so it was a bunch of people. And it was just like a simple black t-shirt, but it, I still have it and it's just absolutely destroyed. I can't, I can't wear it, I can't throw it away. Holes in the armpits, but it's just like a fantastic shirt that I've had forever. I wrote this really dumb song with my best friend who we play, we still play together live, my friend Sam. It just was like a song that went da 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 And it's just like one of those really simple guitar riffs that is just really dumb, but it was like the first thing that we did together. The first movie that scared me might have been uh, E.T. It was really scary for me when he's looking at night in the grass and then he, and then he sees E.T. That was really scary. Also, Men in Black was really scary. I thought when the head opened up and there was that little, and also that guy, Vincent D'Onofrio on that movie is so scary. Uh, those are the first two that I remember. And also E.T. at the end, when he's on the, in, you know, on the hospital bed, you know, that whole thing when the guys come in, that's horrifying. The first guitar that I owned was uh, for my, my friend was, uh, the same friend Sam, was throwing away this old, it was like a TS Doe or Tiesco or some old like Sears catalog guitar that was like, you know, thin and big thick neck and didn't work. And I thought, oh, for Christmas, I should get this working, give it to my sister for Christmas. And so me and my dad, we went to my dad's friend's house, Mr. Bill Stasek, and he helped us kind of solder the thing together and make the internal stuff good, and then, you know, polish it and get it all sort of set up and aligned. And as we were doing this, it was kind of hidden under my bed, and I would kind of take it out and sort of in the middle of the night kind of be like, oh, this is so fun, and then put it away. And then when I finally did give it to my sister, she was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, and never really played it. So then I kind of played it, and it became my guitar. Probably meeting Winona Ryder. She was at the uh, table read for the first season of Stranger Things. Didn't say a word to her, saw her, was like, that's Winona Ryder. Um, my family loved Little Women as a kid. I have a bunch of sisters, so that was a big uh, household uh, movie. And then one day I was in the trailer, and she came in. I saw her. She said, "Oh, hi. she said, oh, uh, you must play my son." She said, because she thought I was playing a different role, and I said, "Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I'm Steve. As like I play Steve." And she says, "Oh, nice to meet you, Steve." Like she thought my name was Steve. And then I said, oh, no, I'm Joe. And then at the same time, she got whisked away. And then I didn't see her until the premiere. So I, I, she had no idea who I was. But then finally at the premiere of the show, she was like, oh, you, you know, great job. And it was great to meet her. First time I Googled myself, I've shamelessly, yeah, I've, I've Googled myself. It's probably like after, you know, the first season came out and was like so excited to, you know, see how the show did. and. I was hoping maybe that they said like, yeah, he did a good job. The first album I bought was a five song compilation of how the West was won, I think. It wasn't like the full thing and it wasn't really technically for sale, but I bought it at this place called Albums in my hometown. Um, I bought that and then Stiff Upper Lip, that ACDC album, that random ACDC album. My parents took me and all my sisters to see Bruce Springsteen when he did the um, Ghost of Tom Joad, I think it was that, was that, that was that album. And that was kind of 
uh, that was at the Tweeter Center in Massachusetts outside. So there's this big lawn and it's like you bring snacks and drinks and all the kids are running around and playing this kind of like live show. That was awesome. But at the time I was, uh, I forget how old, I was maybe 11. And it was really exciting for the first maybe hour and a half. But then by the time like the third hour began, I was like, I need to go to bed. So started out great, ended up needing a nap at the end of it. In high school, me and my friend, a bunch of my friends, we played this party that, a, a, that this girl was having at her house. And we did a bunch of covers and we called ourselves JJ and the PNPs. And it was like a combination of all, all of our names together. And I think it was a one, one and done. The first thing I would do if I was president, well, I'm happy to announce that this is my uh, official announcement for, no, I'm just kidding, I'm not running for president. What would I do? I would just get everyone in a room and just say, guys, we gotta figure this out. Let's just, let's just chill and figure this out. 